the new Pantone color of the year, 2015, Masala. Now, it's not such a jump from Radiant Orchid to Masala. Tell me, how did you get to something Masala? Something that spoke to nurturing real needs. Uh, the need for something that was more robust, that had a life force that was intrinsic Emotional. to it. And the color. most interesting thing about Marsala, I think, is the fact that the earthy undertone that we see in this wine red, it has a sophistication. So there's something very versatile about the color. Talking about this grounded it has feeling this grounded of the color, of course, influence, I'm tempted to go straight into the brown story. Now, we haven't had browns for a long, long time. And of course, suddenly we've got yes. this whole 1970s the nostalgia, the whole brown of furnishings coming back. We've got the whole suede yes. story coming this year. I love the spiciness and suede of it. Well, we always look is at the brown undertone an of the colors, not just what we see on the surface, but what's color? underneath that color. There is that need for rootedness. You know, we always look at what the public the is telling us they want, what they're seeking. And at this point in time, we feel that that feeds our mind, feeds our body, feeds our soul. Idea of and nurturing. we feel that a color Doing like Marsala feeds ourselves. Fits idea all of, of those nurturing. categories. Doing something that That's feeds ourselves. Idea of product. nurturing. Do you think Doing it's a color that, that feeds has ourselves. needed appeal? Soon as I say, ooh, Marsala, wow. Or like red or blue. Or, it's sophisticated. Is it going to take time to get used to it for people, or do you think it will be like, mm, love it, do it? I think it's going to be a color that's going to happen very quickly. Like, mm, because love it. particularly with women, they relate to it all the relate time. as a lipstick color, blush color, and now we're even touting it as uh, use relate on to the it eyelid, which oh. is a different usage of it. Uh, but I don't think he'd have a problem with that at all. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a color that does have versatility, both for women and for men. Okay, Lee, let's start with the fashion, of course. Now, when I see Marsala, I automatically see texture. Texture, Am I being texture. Stupid, or, or does it work for planes as well as texture? It's definitely a color that will lend itself well to texture. Because it's a strong undertone of brown, and yet it's the essentially a wine red, brown. you have all kinds of variation going on within the color to begin with. So when you think of that in terms of texture, I think it will play wonderful tricks on the eye. I think we're going to be looking for variations of the color in plush textures in particular. Not to say that we won't see it in matte treatments. Of course, it's lovely in matte. But I do think that you're going to see it a lot in your, in your treatments that have a great deal of texture. So let's talk about fabric then. I mean, I, my first thinking is oh, glossy colors. Really shiny raw color silk or a powdery color. And it's really gloss rustic. Shiny shiny color is the kind of colors that really come to me straight gloss away. Gloss is a shiny but color or a gloss. Do you see it as, as, as a really glossy color? You talked about it in lipstick earlier, but do you see it as no, a... No, I do see it as a shiny color as well. I think that there's so much opportunity today as far as wearable technology is concerned. You know, think about that even in a pair of headphones or in a piece of jewelry that's high tech. Uh, something that has that kind of uh, experience of something a little bit more futuristic. And I do think the color can carry that message as well. How about around the house? Do you see it around every part of the house, from the bedroom to the living room? I can see it in the living room, of course, and scatters and upholstery, but everywhere? Bathroom as well? I see it everywhere. Uh, bathroom, it might be a little bit heavy, but I do see it in accessories in the bathroom. Think about plush towel. Yes, yeah, I was just saying. Oh, a cozy, wrap ourselves in a... Oh, you know. yes, a cozy robe, something to wrap yourself in when you, feel, when you want to feel warm. Uh, however, I do see it in one of my favorite usages for color now, and that is painting a wall in this fantastic color, or maybe even four walls in this color, as far as the dining room is concerned. A great appetite stimulant, after all, Marsala is all about some wonderful food Liquid or spice. Liquid and solid. Exactly, yes, solid. exactly. So a dining room and or a kitchen, it would be a fabulous place to use a color like Marsala. So of course in graphics it's the same story. It goes for any surface, it goes for any application of ink or color. Let's talk about harmonies. What kind of colors do you see going with Marsala? I love to see it as a layered color. Now, obviously when I use the word layered, we think of makeup right away. But layering it as far as a paint color is concerned, or as far as any texture is concerned, layering it with other metallics in particular, like the bronzy tones, the umbers, anything that has that I'm brown looking forward to a year of, of drinking and smelling and wearing and eating masala. 